Peniel E. Joseph, The Sword and the Shield, The Revolutionary Lives of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Discover the intertwined revolutionary journeys of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. as you delve into The Sword and the Shield, a riveting exploration of the lives, philosophies, and legacies of two iconic civil rights leaders. Witness how Malcolm X's advocacy for black self-determination and nationalistic pursuits resonated with the urban black population in the United States and how Martin Luther King Jr.'s nonviolent struggle against racial injustice garnered national attention. This summary will touch on the key events, ideas, struggles, and alliances that shaped these influential lives, delving into their personal histories and their mutual convergence towards seeking justice and dignity for all. Malcolm X's Early Life and Rise to Prominence Malcolm X's childhood was marked by tragedy and parental separation. Nevertheless, he grew up imbued with the values of black pride and dignity, which he would later champion as a prominent figure in the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X was born in Omaha, Nebraska, in 1925 to parents who were fervent followers of Marcus Garvey, the civil rights pioneer and advocate of black nationalism. Garvey's teachings on political power and community building resonated with the growing population of black Americans in urban areas during the Great Migration. Malcolm's early life was marred by tragedy, as his father's reputed racist assault led to his premature death, and his mother's mental illness resulted in her institutionalization. Malcolm, therefore, spent most of his youth in foster homes and juvenile facilities. Despite these hardships, Malcolm imbibed the lessons of black self-determination and dignity from his family and role models. He would eventually become a prominent member of the Nation of Islam and a masterful orator, drawing people from around the world to the movement with his provocative speeches. Malcolm's journey from a marginalized upbringing to a defiant advocate for black empowerment is a testament to the resilience and determination of the human spirit. Martin Luther King Jr., A Radical Visionary Martin Luther King Jr., the son of a prominent minister, was a political radical who was passionate about liberating black people from the shackles of racism. His conciliatory image masked a deep and robust belief in social democracy. King believed that nonviolence had the power to become a muscular and coercive tactic with world changing potential. He became a civil rights activist and organizer after Rosa Parks launched a movement against racist Jim Crow transportation laws. King's leadership skills and dedication in urging black people in Montgomery, Alabama, and other southern cities to political action contributed significantly to black liberation. Malcolm X and the Global Fight for Black Dignity In 1959, Malcolm X's travels through the Middle East expanded his understanding of the global struggle for black dignity. He sought to improve relations between the Nation of Islam and the Arab world, but his rise to fame through Louis Lomax's documentary created tension within the group. While Martin Luther King Jr. fought for desegregation, he did not fully understand Malcolm X's idea of black dignity as a form of political self-determination and human rights. Malcolm X believed in black dignity as a means of recognizing the humanity of black people and achieving their self-determination. Birmingham Protests In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. led efforts to desegregate Birmingham, Alabama, which sparked a series of protests, boycotts, and rallies. These protests put Birmingham at the center of the civil rights movement and gained national attention, forcing Americans to confront issues of race and democracy. Despite facing brutal opposition from segregationist city commissioner Bull Connor, King's message resonated with many, and his arrest led to the writing of his famous letter from Birmingham jail, which highlighted the persecution of black people. These protests ultimately turned President John F. Kennedy into an advocate for civil rights. King's Bold Vision At the 1963 March on Washington, D.C., Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech, which presented a comprehensive view of a multiracial, democratic nation that confronts violent racial discrimination. The speech emphasized the significance of black poverty in an affluent country and alluded to reparations for enslavement and Jim Crow practices. King's vision of justice, equality, 
an interracial democracy resonated with the 250,000 attendees, including 100,000 white people, making racial equality a central issue in U.S. political activism and democracy. United for Civil Rights President Lyndon Johnson introduced his Great Society initiative to advance civil rights and fight poverty after JFK's assassination. Civil rights legislation and substantial wealth redistribution were essential, according to Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X, who acknowledged their mutual interests and capabilities. In March, Malcolm X announced his separation from Elijah Muhammad and his intention to join the civil rights movement, which sparked death threats from his former supporters. Despite their political differences, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King recognized their shared vision that racial violence was the root of JFK's assassination. Malcolm X's Death and Its Impact on Martin Luther King Jr. Malcolm X's assassination left a lasting impact on the civil rights movement and Martin Luther King Jr. King became more radical in his approach, realizing that addressing institutional racism and poverty required more than government programs. He committed to the Selma to Montgomery march that brought attention to police brutality against black citizens and ultimately led to the signing of the Voting Rights Act. King saw the movement as aspiring to something universal, recognizing the interconnectedness of issues such as racism, poverty, and the Vietnam War. Malcolm X's legacy of revolutionary politics galvanized black power activists, but his greatest impact may have been on Martin Luther King Jr. who harnessed his passion and abilities for a meaningful purpose. Martin Luther King Jr. Rejects Vietnam War In 1967, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. sermon at Riverside Church in New York City delivered a powerful message. He denounced the Vietnam War and President Johnson's policies, citing the war and urban violence as moral dead ends. King advocated himself as a political radical who could speak on both domestic and international issues. He urged a revolution in values in America. Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr., two leaders with different visions. Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. were two prominent leaders in the civil rights movement, but they had starkly different views on how to achieve change. While King believed in the power of large-scale protests to shape political policies, Malcolm X was always suspicious of the idea that U.S. democracy could overcome racism and poverty. Despite their differences, both leaders inspired and influenced people seeking justice and dignity. King's legacy was the concept of radical black citizenship, which demanded more than just an absence of discrimination. On the other hand, Malcolm X became known as the United States' revolutionary truth-teller, whose domestic activism dovetailed with his political support for global anti-colonial struggles. Although they started off with opposing ideas, their visions grew closer to one another over their lifetime. King was assassinated in 1968, which set off a national crisis and violent riots in U.S. cities. Today, King remains a legendary American icon honored with a national holiday. In The Sword and the Shield, Peniel E., Joseph brings the lives and impact of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. into focus, revealing how their parallel visions and efforts gradually converged over time. While Malcolm X championed the cause of black dignity and self-determination, King aimed at achieving civil rights and justice for the oppressed. Both icons boldly confronted issues like racial oppression, poverty, and institutional racism, inspiring future generations to continue the fight for justice and equality. As their legacies continue to shape modern civil rights activism, their revolutionary lives provide a powerful testament to the transformative power of relentless pursuit of a just and dignified society.